Hello YouTube, Errol Sesson here today and welcome back to another video and today I want to go over my favorite ranged and melee cl uh, classes for you guys. Uh, this is what you guys wanted to see. And uh, that is what we're going to be doing. So first, if you've been around my channel for a while, I'm going to be covering Boomkin. Uh, it's been my main for a very, very long time and I just, I can't give it up. It's just something that I enjoy. And the reason why that it is, compare it to Legion, the heals are very, very nice now. Uh, they're actually really decent for one, so Restor Infinity is really good now. Uh, you can also pick Cyclone and Disarm, unlike Legion, because they're on the same talent row, on her talents. Uh, the mobility is still pretty good. I like the, having the mobility is nice. Unfortunately, we did lose Displacer Beast, which still salty about, but... It, it happens, I guess. It just, it happens. Uh, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much the only reason. The new playstyle is really nice, too. They did redesign Boomy a little bit. Uh, if you do have the Astral Power Talent Generator from the first talent row, you can start off fights with 50 Astral Power. And, like, you can start off with a Starfall, Star Surge, whatever you want. So, like I said, I wanted to keep this a little bit brief. So, uh... To recap, I like it because you can have Cyclone Disarm on the same uh, as the same talents. The mobility is still nice for being a caster, and the heals are really nice. So that's what uh, that's what I got to say about Boomkins, guys. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. Up next is Fire Mage. This has been my long time favorite spec for Mage. It's just incredibly fun. You get these constant crits all the time which I love seeing I love seeing the big crits and numbers that fire mage can do plus if you really do not like tanks like I know a lot of people don't like tanks I, I personally don't mind either way but I figured I put this anyways for people that don't like tanks fire mage is a tank killer all you gotta do is get a greater power blast off and tanks just pretty much melt so having that is nice uh having Another reason why I like fire is that they have a pretty decent amount of CC, Wing of Frost, uh, Dragon's Breath, um, and Polymorph, of course. Every other mage has those stuff, but you guys know what I meant. Uh, putting stuff on, like, just seeing targets, like, on fire is just kind of fun to me, too. I don't know. Just It's a little bit to, to decide, because nothing's really changed for fire. Overall, I guess I wanted to try to keep this as brief as possible, so I guess if I had to say it, I just like fire because of the big numbers and the big crits. It's just the way the spec is kind of works. Seeing all those big crits all the time. It's just really good. Plus, it's really satisfying to get a greater power blast off. So, uh, into a meteor as well. Anyways, guys. That's Fire Mage. Alright, guys. Up next is Beast Mastery Hunter. So, this is a spec that I've pretty much mained uh, along with survival uh, throughout the Hunter lifetime. So... Beastmaster was not that great in Legion. Everybody knows this. BM was pretty much terrible. The templates kind of killed BM. But now that templates are gone, Beastmaster is good again. They've changed a little bit about BM. That makes it a little bit more fun. Uh, that's my opinion. Spirit Beast get a purge. So if you want to dispel Blessing of Protection, you can do that. A Spirit Beast comes with the uh, reduced damage taken. It's a 3 minute cooldown, but it's still it's pretty nice. Plus you get your own mini heal from the Spirit Beast. Add that to Acceleration, you just get tons of healing from Beastmaster right now. Uh, their damage is pretty good uh, for the most part, so I would recommend playing that. They're a good counter to Rogues if you hate Rogues like I do. And that's another reason why to play Hunter. And um, overall, guys, I think that's it. So, recap. Tons of good healing right now. Good damage. Uh, good utility. They have a baseline pet stun. They have... Disengage to run away. They have a range slow to get away. <laughs> Overall, their kiting is just really good. So, to recap, good heals, good utility, good damage. Overall, guys, uh, oh, plus, uh, yeah, I forgot. Um, good counter to rogues. Overall, it's my type of class. All right, guys, up next is we're going to be covering a melee because... Yeah, I've covered pretty much all the ranged classes that I've wanted to cover. And now we're going to be going over melee. So, first one, Havoc. Because 
there's, there's a few reasons why I like Havoc. It, there's not many, but there's just a certain few that it's just too good to not play. One, double jump. I always am a jumper. I am, do not have any plans to stop jumping. I know some of you may think it's annoying, and I apologize. It's just never going to make me stop. I just, I am a jumper. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. So, me being a jumper and being able to double jump and glide is a huge reason why I love Havoc. I, I just love jumping. It's just something I do. Uh, next is, it's kind of a counter to rogues. You can see, you have an ability to see them. I'm not going to pronounce it because I know I suck at it. Um, and the ability to see rogues is just, it, I'm a ro I can't, I can't stand rogues. They, they legit just really uh, <laughs> get under my skin. Most of you know that by now. So, being able to do that. It's just another reason why I play Havoc. So, while Rogues can still obviously kill Havoc, even if I do get them out of stealth, because they're pretty just they're pretty much meant to be 1v1 class. They're, they're just designed to be one of the best 1v1 classes in the game. But to make Rogue's life a little bit of a little uh, living hell, even if it's just a little bit, then that's satisfying to me. So, that's just my opinion. And honestly, guys, that's really about it. And plus, I guess if you can get to different spots like you can reach before. Anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much the reason why I like Demon Hunter. Ability to see stealth and the mobility. So, moving on to the next one. Alright, guys, and up next is Survival Hunter. And I'm a huge fan of Survival Hunter. I loved it in Legion, and I love it in BFA. I don't know which to me personally is better. Uh... I, I, I guess I just love both equally. Some people don't like survival. Some people prefer the Legion survival. Some people love the BFA one more. It, it's going to get so many mixed opinions. So, I'm a huge fan of uh, BFA survival. And here's the reason why. One of the reasons is, it's a mixture of ranged and melee. Uh, I personally feel like it's more ranged than melee a little bit. That's just my personal opinion. People can disagree with me on that. But I just feel it's that way. Uh, you can attack at ranged. You can uh, get closer if you want to. Basically, you can choose whatever you want to feel what you feel like doing. If you want to attack somebody far away, you can do that. If you want to get up close and personal, you can do that. Survival, I feel like, can just do it all. And plus, on top of it, they have a baseline stun. They have tons of ranged spells. Like I say, if you want to get in and out, you can do that. You can get. Up close and personal, you got traps. You survival just has anything. You also have your own personal heal if you decide to talent it, but pretty much every hunter I feel like talents it, so uh there's that. Uh you can camouflage and you can sneak around like a rogue type of thing. Uh I think that pretty much covers up everything I want to say about survival. So just to recap. Personal Pocky Heal, pretty much what everybody talents is Mending Bandage, what you're seeing right now. Uh, tons of Utility, based on Stun, Traps, etc. Uh, c good consistent damage for pressuring. Uh, able to be getting in and out whenever you feel like it. Or stay far away if you feel like doing that. Uh, I think overall that covers up everything I want to, so... These are the classes, and uh, or specs I should say, that I am enjoying the most in BFA. Obviously there's more. This is just all I wanted to put into the video because this is what I've been enjoying the most. Doesn't mean that I hate all the other classes. Um, I just didn't like... Some of them I thought were fun, but I didn't think were like absolutely fun enough to put in the video. This is just, like I said, you guys wanted my opinion. This is what you guys wanted. And I'm doing it for you guys. So, obviously there's some specs I'm not a fan of. And if you've been around my channel, you already know which ones I'm talking about. Some of them, like Enhancement Shaman, for example, or certain Warlock specs, I do find a little bit fun. But just not to the point where I am not enjoying as much as this video. Uh, like I have in this video. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And I will see you guys for the next one.